Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nikki the Bombshell Biker, and I'm actually here at Victorville Harley, or Harley David Victorville, I don't know. The Harley Davidson up in Victorville, and we came out to do demo day. And so I kind of wanted to talk about uh, my experience here today. And right now, currently the beard's out riding, having a grand old time, and I'm just hanging out in the truck, enjoying air conditioning, listening to way too many serial killer podcasts, but it's totally fine. Um, so I want to start with when I signed up. So I understand there's not a lot of lady riders. Very well aware of that. I do not understand a woman signing people up for demo day assuming I'm going to be a passenger. Always, always assume they want to ride. Oh no, I'm just a passenger is a much better response than the response I gave with, no, I didn't drive all the way up here to ride bitch. It is what it is. That's, I was super annoyed. Worse so that it was a woman that signed me in and I was like, really? That's okay. Chill. Fine. Not a great first experience. So the next thing that happened, I rode a Sportster because I wanted to see what the whole hubba hub was about. You know, Mrs. Kiwi just got hers and I was like, well, yeah, I'll see. I did not like it. Personal preference was not happy on the bike. It shifted really well and it did really well in the corner. So I'll totally give it that. But I felt like I was riding a lawnmower because that's what it sounded like. Again, personal preference. I wasn't really happy with the seat. Wasn't really happy with some other things. Hit a couple of speed bumps in the road and I, oh God, it hurt so bad. So for me, I like my Vulcan. I like my nice cushy seat. I'm real good. The other thing that happened that kind of molded the rest of my day um, and kind of explains why I'm here in the truck letting the beard kind of go through his motions with all of them. One thing, he loves demo days. And I think that demo days are a really awesome way to ride a bike that you may not have gotten a chance to ride any other way. I probably never would have ridden a Harley ever aside from demo days like they're just not my preference i prefer indians and kawasaki's and even some yamahas and hondas the, there's just nothing about the harley name that's ever pulled me in some like and i will say they make beautiful bikes but just not anything for my personal preference again we have lots of friends with harleys they are great they love their bikes we love the little harley chips we think they are super cool i definitely think their marketing is like on it they've done really good things with their merchandise but for me it's just a personal preference it's not my go-to bike so the beard loves to do demo days because he likes to make videos on the bike he likes to show his watchers and subscribers all the different things about bikes that he can which is awesome and he's really good at it I struggle with really bad anxiety and that's kind of what happened today so today, got on the bike, whatever, you know, started going, freaked out, like two minutes into the ride. Nothing happened. I didn't almost drop the bike. I didn't almost crash into anybody. It shifted just fine. You know, again, felt really good in the curves. We kind of started on a windy road and went onto the freeway. Freaked out. Still had to make the rest of the ride home, like, or home, but back to the, the dealership. Freaking out the whole time. I was so miserable, so uncomfortable. I hated it. I just freaking hated it. So whatever, whatever, we get back home, get back home, get back to the dealership, get off the bike and the beard comes up and he's like, how'd you like it? I was like, I hated it. I'm done. You can ride as many bikes as you want to, but I'm done. Well, was it the bike? And I was like, nope, wasn't the bike. I'll talk to you about it away from the bikes because A, I was the only woman rider there. So I felt like this big responsibility to own the fact that like yeah I got on the bike with all the boys only woman rider every other lady there there was only two but every other lady there was just riding passenger so I didn't want to have a meltdown and freak out in front of a bunch of dudes when I was the only one that was on a bike by myself so we get back to the truck complete meltdown freaking out I don't feel comfortable riding bikes that aren't my own I and I've done demo days I love the Indian demo day did perfectly fine but I think it's because I have more experience with the bobber than I do any other kind of bike aside from my own. And for me, I broke my number one rule, ride within your comfort zone. 
I was not comfortable on that bike. I still went out. I can ride a motorcycle. I'd like, I can confidently say I'm a good rider. Not the best rider. There's always room for improvement, always. But for me, I wasn't comfortable and I broke my number one rule. And then it was okay that I knew I could get myself back, but I also knew it was time for me to get off the bike. I will say the beard was great. I had a full blown meltdown. Again, nothing bad happened. I just freaked out and that's anxiety and it's, it's shitty and it was not a good time for me. And thankfully there was a Starbucks next door so I could go get a drink and chill out. And I got a brownie cause chocolate makes everything better. And I really just wanted to come on and make a quick video and talk about it because I feel like a lot of the times as women, we feel like we have to prove something. And for me, being the only female rider, I had to prove that I could do it. And then I paid the price for it. None of those guys could have cared less that I was uncomfortable. They were out riding bikes. They were doing what they came here to do. Awesome. I should not have done it. I got to ride a Harley for the very first time, probably the very last time I'll ride a Harley of my own or of my own, but I did it. And again, like just not my preference of bike, nothing wrong with it. Just didn't care for the way it felt. You've got to feel that feeling. You've got to throw your leg over and know that's how you buy a bike. You sit on it, you feel it, you know, got on the bike. It was super easy to ride was not at all out of my power range at all. I can totally handle the bobber like it's nobody's business. Sportster, nothing. I just wasn't comfortable and it led to a pretty bad anxiety attack. And a lot of people kind of mention anxiety, but like I really wanted to be honest about it and explain like how bad it was for me today and hope that someone out there appreciates the vulnerability and appreciates that feeling and knows that they're not alone. Cause I know I'm not alone. I know there's plenty of people that deal with anxiety and most of the time I have it pretty dialed in today. Not one of those days. So instead I have, I told the beard, ride as many bikes as you want. Have a great day. I'm going to go walk around the store. I went and got gas in the truck, went and rocked around big lots, went and got food, been listening. I love podcasts, serial killer podcasts. That's my jam. Currently listening to the monster podcasts on Atlanta monster super excited to start Zodiac. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my day. So I wanted to just say that like, it's okay to freak out <laughs> and you're not alone. I don't know if anybody else has ever had that moment. I could, I could be the only one that wants to talk about it. That's totally fine. But I kind of feel like sometimes it's good to put it out there. Anxiety happens. Got myself here safely, parked the bike, got off. I knew I was done. Totally fine. The Beard's had a great day. I think he's been on like five or six bikes today. He will have so many videos. And then the worst part, the worst part, camera on my helmet, I just turned it on. I was like, well, at least I'll get a video out of my freak out. You know, ride along, whatever. My memory card was full. And so that ride was for nothing. But all right, well, I'm gonna end it here. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped anybody. Have a great day, guys. Bye.